So you finally decided to stop the scooping and let the robots do the job for you. Nice. Today I'm gonna do an unboxing and review for the Miyakasa M1 automatic leather box. So smash the like button for YouTube algorithm and let's go. We get some safety tips here. And we also have a quick start guide in the back. In the box, we have a mat, which is really good. I have another one of these and it's really helped to keep the area around the litter box clean. It's just the legs for the litter box. We have a litter max stickers, bunch of 3M stickers that we need to put around the litter box. We have another manual here. We have the power adapter. We have two rolls of trash bags here. It's a little bit smaller than I expected, but that's okay. And we're done with the legs. So this is a trash bin at the bottom. Okay. This is the whole trash bin. It's gonna look something like this. We're gonna put it back in here. We have a power button in the front. We have a clean button. We have the level button, we have an empty button for the trash bin, and we have a Wi-Fi button right in the front. Now it's time to plug it in, install the app, and connect to Wi-Fi. Let's go. This is the first boot. So every time you add the cat litter, you need to press the level button in the front. So we are actually at 60%. And now I have the app open. I'm gonna add the robot. So we're gonna have the M1. So I need to hold the Wi-Fi button for three seconds. Next. So if you go to travel anything, you can just control the robot and litter box using the app. So we need to add our cats. So this robot has the weight sensor. So the body weight helps to uh, differentiate between if multiple cats. So if you put like 18, 19 pound, uh, it's gonna know based on the weight which cat it is. So we have two cleaning mode. We have the smart mode, which is automatically cleans up after the cat using. So each time the cat uses the litter box, it's gonna clean up after. And we have the cycle mode, clean up once a while. So for the first one, a smart mode, we can set the timer, uh, how many minutes after the cats used it, it's gonna start cleaning just to make sure the cat leave the air area and is safe. I'm gonna put it at three minutes. And for the cycle mode, if, so if, if you select the cycle mode, it's gonna clean every hour, two hour, up to 10 hour, every 10 hour. So I'm not gonna do that. That's why we have the uh, automatic litter box. Apparently I'm actually below 50%. I need to add more. I'm gonna go to start calibration. And this is all the functions of the litter box. We have the clean leveling and calibration and we have the record. So every time our cat's using the litter box, it's gonna record it and how much time it took to clean it. Let's do leveling. So it's gonna do the leveling. All right, let's go to the setting. So in the setting, we have the automatic cleaning checked, automatic covered, we have the automatic leveling. We also have an option for kitten mode. So if our cat is below one kilogram or two pound, you should use a kitten mode. We also have an option for do not disturb. And for do not disturb, we set a start time and we set the end time and we also can repeat it during the week. So if it makes some noise, you don't want it to work during the night or stuff like that, you can set up the do not disturb. And we have the non-stoppable cycle. When turned on, the litter bin rotates within the safe angle range. Cats entering will not interrupt the operation in the machine. And we also have other settings. If you can change the device name, you can share your device with your spouse, kids, whoever you like. We can add the cats in the cat section. We have the child safety lock here as well. That's good. We have the silent mode. So when you put the on silent mode, it's not gonna beeping and making other sounds. That's pretty much what we can do with this. Try to see if it detects like the weight of the cat. Let's see, this is my cat and it goes into the litter box. Is it gonna send me a notification or? So it should be start working. Uh, okay, you actually detect it. So the light turned on and it's gonna go into the clean mode. That's good. So you detected the cat was using it. And I'm gonna interrupt it when it's a start to see if it's safe for the cat. Okay? Okay, so the cat jumps in. What is it gonna do? 
All right, we, it gives me a yellow clean button. That means something is stopped the machine. So it's not gonna rotate when the cat jumped inside. Okay, that's good. That's pretty uh, reassuring and safe. Is it gonna continue or what's gonna happen? Oh, okay, it's gonna continue. It's not gonna wait for me. Come save it. That's good. That's what I was worrying about. It is pretty interesting because when it's on the clean mode, it goes all the way back to make sure it filters all of the litters. Let's put some water in here. Let's say the cat peed in here. Now let's try to see if it cleans it. Oh, okay. And it's pretty good. It holds it right there. Okay, so we had a little bit of a splash. Okay, and it's gonna fall into the trash bin right there. So that's basically how it works. And we're gonna have the clean litter back. All right, that was cool. Let's check the litter box. Yeah, if I take this out, we have the litter right there. And now we need to pull this part. So that's pretty much gonna get everything in here and you just take this out and put it in a trash can or whatever you can also empty the whole litter into the trash bin with the press of the empty button if you want to get rid of the whole thing that's fine so far there was no issue with this litter box as far as the safety goes if the cat goes in it's gonna detect the weight and it's gonna wait for it after the cat jumps out uh, depends on the time you set it's gonna start cleaning and the cleaning process is super easy you saw it in the video it just gets rid of the waste and it's not gonna waste any litter uh, not too much maybe a little and the app function is pretty good it gives you notification and you have control over the robot you can clean it level it calibrate it and you have the record of your pets using the litter box that's good for their health just to make sure how many times a day they use the litter box that's pretty cool and it's really good for multiple cats without any issues because it's an open top so any type of any size of cat can go in there i i have another uh, robot litter box but that one is a closed cap uh, the thing is uh, my big cat doesn't really fit in there and it's going to be struggling for her so I think this one is perfect for bigger cats, but for smaller cats, maybe you can use the uh, cover top. The only difference would be, uh, I'm not sure the smell uh, gonna play a factor with this open top, because if it doesn't clean at fast enough, the odor might be a little bit of issue with this open top. But overall, the functions are pretty good and it's pretty safe for the cats and it's pretty easy to just clean it. Uh, I think it's gonna save a lot of time for the cat owners, the pet owners. I really recommend it because I've been using the this type of litter box in the past like four months and it's just a time saver, hassle-free. You don't have to clean the litter box every day. That's something that needs to be done by robots anyhow so and that's one of the good things let me know if you have any question in the comment section and i will answer it to the best of my knowledge and thanks for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video